And today I'm gonna do a video using the i2 camera, 600 speed film. We're looking at the color temperature of light, whether it's daylight, which I'm being flooded by right now, or whether it's something like an incandescent bulb, like this here, and how that not only affects the color of the image, but also when you shoot in that type of lighting scenario, you also have to usually give the image greater exposure to compensate for that Kelvin temperature. So let's see just how much correction we have to give when working in incandescent light. Okay, so here is the full set that I shot last night. The first image here was shot in daylight, 5,500 degrees Kelvin. The second image was shot in a mix of daylight and incandescent light. Both of those are actually still a really good exposure. Now, the third image here was shot in pure incandescent light. There was no daylight coming in through the window, so it's just a pure incandescent bulb. And what I noticed is it's a little too light. The next one here is one stop under exposure, and the next one is two stops under exposure. So this got me thinking. A, what you can see is how sensitive the film is to different uh, color temperatures. You know, daylight is nice, mix was nice, but when you start to get to just a pure incandescent shot, it becomes very heavy yellow, yellow-orange right off the bat. But also what I noticed was how the exposure was radically different. Okay, so this is the test setup that I did. You can see there are two just very simple light sources that are lighting the room. And uh, I'm using two different sets of LED bulbs by GE. The first set are 5,000 degrees Kelvin. And this particular set is marketed at 2,700 degrees Kelvin. And what we'll see is how that color temperature affects the overall exposure and how it affects the overall color of the scene. All right, so what you can see in the two results here Two interesting observations. This is with daylight and this is with incandescent. Now, daylight, my color temperature meter was telling me that this was coming in right around 4,800 degrees Kelvin, so it's not the 5,000 that uh, GE was advertising. Um, it's a little warm still, and this obviously was 2,700. You can easily see the color difference between the two. Also interesting to note is that I had a lamp behind her head in both frames, and note how much that caused a flare on the lens to sort of blow out these areas. Um, I actually think it's kind of pretty in this one, what it's doing. And I, in post-production, I could always scan this up and add more contrast to those areas. But it's good to know that if you have a strong back, backlit subject, you're most likely gonna have some sort of flare. I don't see this as a bad thing. I see it as just something I wanna know about. But now when I look at these two exposures, they're actually pretty close. Now this got me thinking. I've listened to a lot of other people who've done reviews of this camera, and a lot of them have all talked about using a handheld meter. Um, a handheld meter, of course, is going to be more consistent uh, across the board uh, than an in-camera meter where you're not exactly sure where it's metering within the frame. It isn't you know, as precise as using like a, a spot meter, a good reflective meter, even an iPhone meter. Uh, additionally, uh, my suspicion is that the meter itself uh, favors uh, incandescent light just a little tiny bit and gives it a little bit more exposure, the meter itself. And that would talk about the meter's spectral sensitivity. So what does this tell me? What it tells me is that the meter is absolutely usable for daylight situations. For me, it's been accurate for almost everything that I've wanted to do. And I would also say it's accurate for moderate mixed lighting situations. However, in the situations that I just did, where you've got a really strong incandescent primary light source, in those situations, I think I would use a handheld meter just to be safe. As I did in the side-by-side, -side, the handheld meter was incredibly accurate and differed by over a stop from what the in-camera meter was indicating. Thank you very much for listening. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Now go shoot some film.